Hi friends, Andrea here with a new video for HipKit Club. I'll be working on a set of cards using the printable version of the November 2021 HipKits. So since these kits are a little bit delayed, Kimberly sent us a printable version. So you'll see all of the elements, all of the die cuts, stickers are going to be fussy cut for this project. And I'll do my best to point you in the right direction and make sure that I um, mention the exact product that this is and the kit that you'll be able to find them once you get yours. Now for this first card, I'm using this yellow pattern paper with the polka dots red pattern paper as the backgrounds for my card and just white card stock for the base of the card. Now I have my card ready and this first element is being fussy cut from what will be one of the pocket life cards, one of the three by four pocket life cards. Then this yellow tree, the green tree and the blue tree that you see on the right, I believe are die cuts from the main kit as well, oh, as, well as the yellow tree and the small blue tree that you see now on the right side is cardstock sticker a cardstock sticker from the pocket life kit and the merry christmas phrase is a cardstock it's a sticker from the main kit adding some foam adhesive to create some dimension. And I'm gonna finish this card with some Nouveau Drops. These ones are from last month's color kit, I believe. So these are, one thing that I love about this kits and the idea of making cards with them is that you have so many elements um, between the die cuts and stickers and the all of the numbers and your pattern papers that you can go ahead and make a ton of different Christmas cards to give to friends and family. So this was a really really fun project to work on. So now for the second card I have this beautiful pattern paper I believe it is my favorite and since I have this printable version I think I'm gonna print it quite a few more times to work with it and then the grid is a die cut I believe from the main kit I do not know exactly the size of the cards there are different sizes but this one is based on the size of the grid and trying to keep as much as the paper to to be seen so it's a little bit bigger than a four by six i think now i'm using 
white cardstock to create a border. And then that's going to go, the pink is going to be the base of my card. And I believe this should be the same light pink basil cardstock that we should be getting with the November kits. This is one from previous kits. All of the cardstock that I'm using is from previous kits. Now some foam for some dimension. This is my favorite of the three cards that I'm going to show you. It has so much dimension that it's just what I love the most. Okay, and now I'm using the Wish Season. I believe this is also this and this blue. The Wish Season and this blue piece, I believe they're both die cuts from the main kit. I hope I'm giving you the right information. And now I'm going to end up my card adding some white Nouveau drops to every single one of the dots that we get with the pattern paper. That finishes that second card. You can see all of the dimension and I'll show you a close up as we are done. For the third card, I'm using this Pocket Life cards. It's one of the four by six Pocket Life cards for the, bit, for the background. And I'm creating a border with this pink pattern paper. I'm gonna create a second border with some green green cardstock. And then the same light pink cardstock for the actual base of the card. I fussy cut the numbers and they are part of the embellishment kits and so are this flower clusters and leaves. They're all from the embellishment kit. Okay, we're gonna finish this card with some Nouveau drops and I, these are also from previous kits. I used three different, three different color Nouveau drops. The one from the October kit and then um, I used the white one and the gold one that we got some time ago. So now here is a close up of each one of the cards. As I said, very simple. It'll be even easier once you have your actual kits because there will be not really any fussy cutting involved. You get all of these flowers and clusters. They are all die cuts. 
the grid is a die cut the other elements might be stickers either chipboard or cardstock or cardstock stickers so you can put together cards for the season super super fast i hope you guys enjoyed the video please be patient we just have to hang in there a few more days for our kids i know that kimberly and rob are doing the best they can to put everything together as soon as they get all of the products for us to enjoy them in the meantime let's enjoy some of the inspiration that we're gonna be putting out there using this printable version of the kits yeah. don't forget to check the blog and the facebook group for more inspiration from the team this was andrea for hip kid club and i'll see you next time bye bye